Welcome back. Um, I'm going to apologize for the sunglasses. We've got uh, ice season here on the bay and uh, we're iced over outside that way and that snow um, and ice is just making it really bright, beautiful, bright day. So uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, a, a ice case, a hard-sided case for rod storage transportation. The main reason for me to get this is, uh, is this will be the first year that I'm pulling um, the sled uh, behind the ATV and maybe for miles and I just uh, heard rumors of getting them they're just getting beat up the rods so I thought you know we got to protect them protect our investment hate to get out there break tips you know cost them money so this will be this will be a cost saving measure now stay tuned until the end because I think I've got uh, I think I've got a cost saving measure for you that um, had I uh, been a little closer to Cabela's um, I may return this and uh, and just go with what I've uh, what I've got in mind for you. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so what we're looking at here, this is a, a Frable, and um, it is extra large. It is hard sided. It was uh, purchased at Cabela's for I believe eighty dollars, and uh, and let me get you some dimensions. So the dimensions are 42 long, about 20 wide, and about 8 deep. Um, I didn't count these, where you set it to upright, these little feet here, so I didn't count those. That's probably an extra inch and a half. Did not count um, this up here either, so maybe another inch. So maybe a little bit, uh, a little bit longer with the buckles as well. So let's talk, start with the buckles and the handle. Um, good construction here. Uh, four. These seem, uh, these snaps seem good. Um, Latch system seem good. Uh, I, I keep forgetting that these are on the outside out here, uh, but uh, it's, it just it feels solid. Um, I would say cheap suitcase quality. Um, uh, maybe a little bit better than the, the tubs that you buy. Um, at Menards or Lowe's or whatever, so those storage tubs. So just a, a better than that. <clears throat> Maybe the best description would be um, uh, very close to a bow case. A bow case. It's a little little teaser there, a little foreshadowing. So let's uh, let's get into this thing. So like I said, we got four latches, and it's got the classic uh, yellow and black Rabel coloring. Again, it's about eighty dollars. Uh, when we get inside. Super simple. It even did it for me. The foam is not set in place permanently. It comes out. This is the first time it's come out. And this one, the one I looked at in the store, came out. So this is just foam. Two inches of foam, both sides. This one's a little bit more secure. See, maybe you can see it's kind of tucked in here. It's not under. It's wedged in there. And, um, and the same thing here. Uh, yeah, so this wedge will be right there. So you got two things to foam, and and that's it. All right, that's 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 kind of the whole thing. What's going to make the quality of the case is going to be these hinges, and these hinges are just just not the best. Uh, if you look here, you can see this little wave here. That tells you that this is not the most sturdy plastic. How long is this going to hold up? I don't know. Am I going to have to, uh, in a year, two, five, ratchet strap it down together and it's going to be a two-piecer? I don't know. Am I going to have to put hinges on here like, uh, like we've done on some coolers? Not sure. So not crazy happy about this hinge system, um, but there it is. So this is the configuration that I've got that I, I, I had for six. Um, and you see I, I put the longest one here on the right-hand side and then uh, just kind of stagger them. Um, you, don't want the, you don't want the reels obviously rubbing into the reels. It kind of de defeats the purpose. It doesn't matter if it's down, if this is down and that's sticking up because the foam is the same on the side. So when this comes down, it's gonna hold it in place. You can see I can easily, easily latch that and, uh, and hold those in place. So um, yeah, I mean, 
If you had all of these inline spools and they're all shorter, you could probably put maybe six up there and six down there, but uh, effectively six, seven, eight rods is what you're gonna be able to get in into the storage. Okay, so that's my out of the box review of the Frable Hard Case. This is 2021. Uh, this is an extra large one. Got it at Cabela's for about eighty dollars. Um, at Cabela's, walking out, and uh, and I look over and I see the bow cases, and I go, oh, well, wait a minute, that looks a lot like this case. So I walk over there, and I forget, I forget which bow case it was, but this sticker was gone in place of a bow case sticker and everything else was identical including the colors inside there was only one side of foam and then on the inside of the case there was a place to put arrows and i think it was attached um it was like a like a softer plastic uh, rigid but but you know pliable and attached to one side so you could put your bow in put your arrows in or bolts i guess arrows and um but it was identical so my, my cost saving tip would be um, take, if you have a hard sided bow case or if you were thinking about getting a hard sided bow case, get one that will fit your bow first and then you can probably, probably fit enough of those poles in your bow case to save you some cash. So uh, had I been closer to Cabela's, I'm a couple hours away from the nearest Cabela's, um, I might consider that I do have a hard case. Um, it's, I would probably have to get a little piece of foam, you know, for a couple dollars at the local hardware store or home goods store and get a foam for the top as well. Um, and, uh, and then, you know, obviously take that out for bow for during bow season or not, you know, depending on what you use your, your case. I like putting arrows inside the case too. Um, but that would be my, uh, be my cost saving measure is uh, if you don't have a hard sided bow case, get a hard sided bow case. And, um, and get it so it can fit this. If you've already got one, just check. Pull that bow out, hang it on a hook. See if you can throw some of your rods into, uh, into that bow case and, um, and you know, that'll do. That'll, that'll serve the purpose, that'll be enough. Um, I have a, a hanger that I use, it's like a rod rack for off season, so I wouldn't use it for that. Um, but uh, some of you may want to for long-term storage. This is good for that. But if you're just going out and throwing stuff in, check that bow case. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.